Hello friends, welcome to our channel Homeopathy in the Healing Power and today we are going to study homeopathic medicine Chamomila. Chamomila is one of the greatest irritable medicine in our homeopathic matra medica. It is one of the anger and pain remedy. Also, Chamomila is one of the pain killer in our homeopathic matra medica. But that does not mean that this remedy can be prescribed in every pain condition. But then, when this medicine has to be prescribed? Friends, for this you have to watch this video till the end because in this video we are going to discuss chamomilla in detail and by the end of this video you will come to know in detail indications and description of typical chamomilla patient and you will also come to know how and when this medicine has to be prescribed. For this watch this video till the end. But before that if you are new to our channel and if you have not subscribed our channel till now then subscribe the channel press the bell icon and select option all so that you will be get notified whenever a new video is uploaded from homeopathy the healing power. Also like this video and share this video among homeopathic students and practitioners. So let's get started. Chamomilla Chamomilla is proved by Dr. Samuel Honeyman sir. It belongs to the family Compositae and the common name of this medicine is Matricaria Chamomilla. Chamomilla is one of the anger and pain remedy. It also causes turmoil in temperament. Typically Chamomilla is children remedy. It is suited to patients who have light brown hairs. Chamomilla has one of the unique physical appearance. They have one cheek red and hot and the other pale and cold. This is specially seen in children. Chamomilla patients have nervous, irritable and excitable temperament. Relation with heat and cold. Complaints in Chamomilla gets aggravated from heat and from open air and they get relief in warm and wet weather. Friends, chamomilla acts on brain, on nerves, on mind and on stomach and on intestine. Friends, let's see the pathogenesis of chamomilla. By acting on nervous system that is on brain and on nerves Chamomilla produces irritability of mind. Friends, and this produces a well marked keynote symptom of Chamomilla. That is, Chamomilla patients are very irritable. Again, we have seen the temperament of Chamomilla itself. Chamomilla patients have irritable, nervous, and excitable temperament. There is a great, great, great irritability seen in Chamomilla patient. Friends, chamomilla is not at all suited to those patients who are calm and quiet and sluggish in nature. Irritability is well marked and it should be always present in chamomilla patient. This irritability of mind also produces spasm and convulsion and so chamomilla is indicated for spasm and convulsion generally in young females and in children and we will discuss them in detail in our clinical part. By acting on stomach and on intestine, chamomilla produces inflammation of mucous membrane of stomach and intestine. This then produces symptoms of diarrhea and dysentery. And so chamomilla is indicated for diarrhea in children, especially it is suited for dentition diarrhea. By acting on nervous system, Chamomilla produces oversensitiveness of sensory nerve and so the least pain is now unbearable to the patient. Friends, let's see how symptoms are originated in Chamomilla. Excessive anger, dentition, exposure to cold, tobacco, bad effects of 
violent emotions and separation of sweat produces symptoms in chamomilla let's discuss first the irritability of chamomilla patient this is one of the most important grand symptom of chamomilla and just because of this symptom we can identify a chamomilla patient there is a great irritability patient is very irritable fretful snappish and peevish this irritability is seen in the form of uncivil answers as well that is the patient cannot answer you in a civil manner hi i also want to play with you can you pass the ball this side you shut up i don't want to play with you this is my ball i will not share my ball with you you just get lost from here and go play with your other friends just go go from here chamomilla patient is so much irritable that nobody likes their company chamomilla patient do not know what they want they are always unhappy and that is why they make others also unhappy it is very difficult to please a chamomilla patient they want this they want that but whenever they are offered they just go on rejecting the things they refuse the things in discourtesy the next important characteristic symptom seen in chamomilla patient is the moaning there is a great moaning this moaning is not only seen in children but also it is seen in adults whenever the chamomilla patient are refuse to do anything they start moaning also this moaning is seen in adult when they pass through with any displeasure experiences chamomilla patient are short tempered and snappish with aversion to talk this snappishness is generally seen in children when things go wrong with them they often bend backward they start kicking and screams with reason and sometimes without reason nothing would relieve their screaming moaning and irritability unless and until they are carried and petted by their parents so these patients are quiet only whenever they are carried chamomilla patient cannot bear anyone around them they cannot bear to be spoken there is an aversion to talking they answer peevishly and in uncivil manner they cannot bear others want this and that but when offered things are rejected they cannot bear pain they cannot bear anything everything is simply intolerable to chamomilla patient and that is why from this point a nickname of chamomilla arises that is cannot bear it there is great level of sensitivity and irritability and that is why chamomilla patient cannot bear anything excessive anger and bad effects of violent emotions produces diarrhea dysentery spasm convulsion and fever in chamomilla patient so now let's see one by one clinical condition where this chamomilla is indicated chamomilla in diarrhea here diarrhea is caused due to anger from cold from downward motion especially in dentition period also this diarrhea is seen so that is why chamomilla is indicated in dentition diarrhea here patient passes greenish watery stool just like that of chopped eggs and spinach they are very hot and offensive like rotten eggs this diarrhea gets aggravated towards evening before midnight and by heat also this diarrhea gets aggravated due to anger complaints are relieved from fasting and in warm wet weather chamomilla is one of the best pen killer medicine as mentioned in the introduction itself 
There are the typical pains seen in chamomilla. There is a pain with numbness of affected part. This is the keynote symptom of chamomilla pains. Pains are of course unbearable to the patient and patient is highly irritable during pains. Chamomilla is specially suited to toothache and also it is indicated in typical irritable labor pains. Toothache in chamomilla is caused by taking anything warm, by entering in a warm room or by taking coffee. Toothache in chamomilla is also seen during menses and pregnancy. This pain is aggravated from heat before midnight in open air and this toothache gets relieved in wet weather and by cold application. Chamomilla is also suited in labor pain. Here the lady suffers from unbearable pains which makes the patient very despair with numbness of affected part. Chamomilla is suited to the cases where there is a great rigidity of opening of uterus. There are spasmodic and distressing pain but the os is rigid which prevents the process of parturition. Typically the patient is very much hysterical, snappish and fault finding as well as irritable during labor pain. There is a great desire of fresh air. Chamomilla prescribed in such cases helps in further process of parturition and also it avoids unnecessary troubles. Similarly, chamomilla is suited in rheumatic pain. There are violent rheumatic pains, pain with numbness of affected part. These pains are so violent that it drives the patient out of the bed at night and compels the patient to walk about because warmth of the bed aggravates the condition. There is a pain with numbness of joints and this pain gets aggravated in heat and gets relieved in warm wet weather. Chamomilla is also indicated in convulsions. These convulsions are also seen in children and in females. Convulsions in chamomilla are caused by anger from downward motion. Convulsions of a child from nursing after a fit of anger in mother is one of the keynote symptom of chamomilla. Friends, let's see some few more keynote symptoms of chamomilla. Chamomilla patients are sleepy but they cannot sleep. Mental calmness contraindicates chamomilla. Desire for open air yet oversensitive to it. There is severe burning in soles and feet of the patient at night and so patient puts them out of the bed. Relation with other medicine? Chamomilla antidotes coffee and opium and it is antidoted by aconite, naxomica and pulsatilla. So friends, this is a detailed video on chamomilla. Please leave your valuable feedback and any suggestion in the comments section given below. Like this video, share this video and subscribe the channel to meet again. Thank you for watching.